Jenny Mossbacher. I'm a sophomore at Washington University studying politics and economy. Um, where are you from? I'm half Japanese and half America. American, but I was born in Colorado in the United States. Okay, then, um, how long have you been in Japan? <coughs> I've been in Japan since the beginning of middle school, so for about seven years now. Okay, so um, next one is about your family, and who is in a family? Um, for me, when I think of family, I just think of who I live with. My sister, my dad, and my dad. <coughs> And who among these live in one house? That's, um, um, well right now I don't, I'm not at the university, so I don't live with my parents, and my sister's working, so she doesn't live with them. Okay. Um, what is the hierarchy of authority in your family? Um, I would say that my mother is the most, the one who makes the most decisions, but like, like financially, my dad makes the money, so in that sense, he's at the top. Okay, um, next one is, what are the rights and responsibilities of each family member? Um, for me and my sister right now, we don't live at home, so mm -hmm. it's more like we're together and we're supposed to take care of ourselves, but we're not financially independent. So, but when we were living together, um, my sister and me, we would have to clean the house and help our family, like our parents out. That's all. Okay. And do children have an obligation to work to help the family um, if you live together? Yeah, like. Me and my sister have to be given chores at home. And, um, oh, mostly, my parents would tell us what to do, and All we would right. have to help it work out. Okay. And how important is the family for you? Um, for me, family is the most important thing. Family always comes first, friends come second. Okay. Um, how does your family play a role in your life? For me, right now, like almost every important decision I make, I ask my family and I ask their opinion. Okay, thank you. And next one is about your community. Um, who or what is considered responsible if a child misbehaves? The child, parents, or other siblings, or school, or society, or anything else? Um, for me, I went to an international school. <clears throat> and usually if the student does something wrong, whether the teacher, um, whether the teacher is wrong or right, usually the child would have to be obligated to apologize to the teacher. Mm -hmm. And then the parents will in turn have to respond to that, but the children will be told that they're the ones who wrong. Okay. And um, who has the authority <coughs> over whom? Like to what extent can one person will be imposed or another? By what means? Can you tell me? In a school? Or? or in general, yeah, I would say like in America, um, it's more like even if um, you did something wrong, if you like, for example, my aunt, her kids misbehaved in school, so her parent, her kids got in trouble, but she would fight for them. Mm -hmm. She thought they weren't wrong, and so. Her, she fought for that, and the teacher was. The teacher also thought she was right, but they fought over that, and in the end, my aunt won. So, like in that sense, even though the hierarchy is supposed to be teacher, parents, kids, 
like as long as you can prove your case that can be switched around okay <coughs> and um what religious roles and authority are recognized in the community um for me i didn't come from a really religious place mm -hmm. so religion didn't really play much of a role in my community okay and um, how many years is it considered to be normal for children to um, go to school? Um, for me, when I was little, growing up in America, everyone would always ask me, like, which university do you want to go to? Like, oh, which state? Right. So oh. I think it's normal that people consider university. They would, like, assume that you were going, so university is considered. Thank you. And... Um, what defines the concept of disadvantage? Disadvantage. Um, when I where I was growing up, there weren't that many disadvantaged mm -hmm. people. So <clears throat> I would say people who didn't come from very affluent families, and there wasn't that much of that where I lived. So it would be rare to see people like that. So that's what. I would consider disadvantage, but if you grew up somewhere like in a poor area, I guess that it would be considered more normal. And disadvantage might mean like disabled or something like that. But yeah. Okay. Then, um, what about successful? Um, I just as I said, there weren't that many, like, um, poor. Not poor, but like, um, not affluent families. So, what what I would say as people would consider successful is having a family mm -hmm. and having your own children, having and having your own house. Okay. Um, what does it mean to be polite in your culture? Um, politeness, I would say, is like caring about other people's feelings and not just like being pretentious, but like actually caring from the bottom of your heart for someone. Okay. And next one is about your culture. Um, what do you like about your culture? I mean, in America <coughs> or even in Japan? Well, um, in my culture, I would say like, I like that people would speak their mind. If they didn't like something I did, they would just like upright tell me. And then like I could learn from that and grow as a person and say, oh, people don't like when I do this. So I like the fact that people are more outspoken in America. Okay. And um, what do you dislike about your culture? Um, I would say I dislike that, well, where I'm from, a really small community so not that many people travel travel outside mm -hmm. of it for example if i lived in like california people would like experience many different cultures and like meet many different people but from where i'm from it was almost like totally like one population so i would say that i would want them to be more open to different cultures mm -hmm. for example like um they wouldn't really get it when I said like I'm half Japanese, they would like be they will never have seen like an Asian person before. So like I don't like that they might be a little bit closed minded. Okay, and next one is um what if questions and would you ever consider marrying or dating someone from another culture? Well like um maybe if I lived in America my whole life I bet like my friends wouldn't even consider or like imagine marrying someone else because they haven't really met anyone other than like uh, American right. descent. But like since I grew up in like an interracial family and I've been to an international school so I've like experienced different cultures and like I know how to take in different cultures, I would say like, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Okay. Um. Would you ever consider living permanently in a country other than your own country? Um, well, right now I'm well, I'm living in Japan and like I speak Japanese, so like 
I will be more I will be comfortable uh, in Japan or America but like for example for if I was told like suddenly to go to Germany and like I don't speak any German and then I wouldn't say that I would be comfortable like living there my whole life okay and um have you ever experienced culture shock? Um, when I first came to Japan, I didn't speak any Japanese okay. at all. Like, and there's katakana, and like I was surprised that they actually integrated English into their own language. But then like some things, like dambo, mm -hmm. I never heard of that. Like we say cardboard, right? And like I didn't know what that was for a long time, and I was like so confused. I was like. I thought it's like all English, but then like they like Japan, Japanese people like use it from like all different countries. Mm -hmm. Like I think it's German, so like that was really shocking. Okay, and um, have you ever experienced reverse culture shock when you back to America? Um, well, I yeah. For example, like I gotten used to like Japanese people being really polite mm -hmm. and like um, not being stern at all but like one time I went back like I went to an American embassy to get my passport renewed and like the guy at the counter he was he just like give me your passport he didn't like say please or anything and so like I gave it to him and he stamped it and like just threw it back at me without saying anything. Mm -hmm. But if it was like a Japanese person, they would be like, thank you so much for coming. Right. So I was like really shocked and I was like, well, that's what America looks like, I forgot. Okay, and um, do you think um, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, is always good advice? Um, well, from my experience, I would say that every culture has their bad parts and every culture has their good parts and like if you want to for example like one time i was walking in the street and this old man like he had fallen over mm -hmm. and if, if that was in america like everyone would be crowded around him trying to help but like japanese people they wouldn't even look at him they would just like walk past and then like in that case like i didn't do anything because like my sister was like like you're foreign you might scare him so but like if it was like in America, people would be helping them. And that's a good part of American culture. Like if someone's in need, they wouldn't like mind. But Japanese people, they have to like, they have this mindset that don't like butt into other people's business. And that's like a bad part, sort of, in that situation. So I would say like, if it's something that would be beneficial for your community, then you don't need to do what the most okay um do you try to make friends with as many persons as possible so that you can exchange favors and help each other in different situations um i would say yes and no like i know that even though you have like tons of friends not everyone's gonna help you right. so like it's great to make friends but like for me i keep who I treasure most closest because I know that they'll help me when I'm in need. So I, w I would like be friendly with everyone but keep my friends like who I trust as like. Okay, thank you. Thank